Yo, what's going on guys? Arax here. Welcome back to another video for Pokemon Legends Arceus. And if you guys are jumping in for the first time and you want some handy tips to help you start your adventure, some of you guys might be Pokemon veterans, some of you might be venturing into the game for the first time, but we've put together a few handy tips that you should definitely keep in mind, some things that will uh, help you on your adventure, and some of them you may not know about. So if you guys do enjoy this, a like would be super appreciated. Let me know in the comments down below, how are you getting on with the game? Are you enjoying it? Have you found any tips yourselves that you think are useful that maybe people don't know about? Let us know down below. But let's not waste any time and let's get started. Of course, first things first, if you play Pokemon games before, you should know this, but if you haven't, check your type matchups, of course. Pokemon come in different types in this game, and of course, different elements are stronger against other elements so it's important to make sure you uh, consider this because in this game some of the Pokemon are pretty tough they're actually designed to be a lot tougher given the sort of environment they live in and whatnot it's supposed to uh, you know, fit within the lore of the game but mainly you want to check your type matchups you can of course do this by looking in the menu but when you do go to select your Pokemon if you're battling another Pokemon the game also has a handy way of indicating what is effective there'll be little symbols that'll appear next to your moves and if you see a triangle this will imply that it is low effectiveness if you sort of see the target of the circle, this implies it is super effective, the dot is regular effectiveness, and if there's a cross, it means no effect whatsoever. So keep this in mind when uh, choosing your matchups in battle. Of course, next one when it comes to capturing Pokemon, weakened Pokemon are of course easier to capture. I should go without saying that if you're battling a Pokemon and you really want to catch them, then getting them to red HP will of course make them easier to catch. But beyond that, of course, paralyzing them or putting them to sleep will also increase your chances. Early on, it's pretty standard, pretty easy, it's not too difficult to catch things, but later on when you do start fighting some of the tougher Pokemon, this is going to be important. Outside of that, it's also important to note that there are multiple ways to level up Pokemon this time around. In previous games, you can of course only level up by uh, you know winning battles and just sort of battling in general. But in Arceus, you can gain XP from capturing Pokemon, from XP candies, from gathering. So effectively, if you prefer a slightly less aggressive playstyle, a slightly slower pace, then it's entirely possible to level up and still progress. Also, on the topic of candies, don't forget to save your rare candies for higher levels. Because of course, rare candies are a great way to level up your Pokemon for free. And of course, as you level, more XP is required to hit the next level. So using them early on is kind of a waste of time because it doesn't take you long to level up Pokemon early on. So saving your rare candies for higher level is mathematically more efficient. Moving on from there, pay attention to lost satchels for mercy points, gifts, trade points for items things like that. You do need an online connection for this one, but this basically allows you to find satchels from uh, defeated players, and when you find them, you get lots of items in them. And evolution items can also be bought for merit points at the trading post, so basically while you're out and about, paying attention for these is important, and if you look at your map, you'd often see them marked quite clearly. You then want to farm the shiny things. Keep your eyes open for shiny ore nodes for Stardust, because each of these Stardusts will sell for 1,000 Pokemon dollars each, so uh, it's a good and easy way to make some money. You also want to try and secure the shaking things. Basically, whenever you are walking around the world, you will see uh, some things like rocks, trees. Sometimes you'll see them shaking. Now, of course, ordinarily, you can interact with these just to farm items. But if they're shaking, Pokemon will be hiding inside them. Sometimes they are pretty basic Pokemon. Other times, they're ones you don't necessarily sort of see roaming around. So if you're trying to sort of find new Pokemon for your team, then make sure you uh, attack anything you see that shakes. Now, as you're exploring, you're of course going to be gathering lots of items. So if you want to increase your satchel size, then uh, Baggin or Bagin, who is in the Galaxy Hall, will increase your storage space. It does get expensive though, so make sure you're paying attention on screen because I did this and I basically continued to press A and he rinsed my entire wallet. You don't want to try and hold on to every item in your satchel, so you do want to use your item box at home and camps to, uh, you know, put things away you're not using so you're only carrying the essentials because there's nothing worse than, of course, seeing some good loot and not being able to pick it up. But if you do want to have more slots, go to him, pay him some money, which increases every time, and he will increase the size of your back. Now, whenever you're catching new Pokemon, of course, once you have maxed out your team capacity, they will then go back to the pen because, of course, Bill's PC does not exist in this universe. Computers haven't been invented yet, obviously. So instead, when you go back to town, you want to visit the pastures or you can speak to the guy at the camp to swap your party members. So when you catch a new Pokemon that you really like and is not in your team, that is how you change it. Additionally, don't forget to update your Pokemon's moves. When you learn a new move, it's different to old Pokemon where you get offered a new one and the old one gets thrown out. Now you hold on to all your moves, but you do need to manually switch them out in the following menu. So basically make sure that if you are progressing, leveling up, 
make sure you do go and check this menu because it might well be that you've just been going for quite a while you're thinking to yourself why have my moves not changed and suddenly you're sitting on a whole host of new powerful abilities also worth noting that evolutions are now triggered manually when your pokemon is ready to evolve you need to enter the menu and trigger the evolution and it is worth noting that holding off your evolutions can sometimes benefit certain pokemon but for the most part you just want to trigger these as soon as you can it's entirely up to you but do keep in mind if you want to evolve make sure you pay attention to the menu and uh, do those things manually and then finally, don't forget to holler at Lucille, the Charm Lady. There are three charms you can buy at the village. One means you lose fewer items if you black out. One means you are less likely to faint. And one means you can escape status conditions inflicted on by Pokemon. So there you have it. There's a few handy tips that you can keep in mind when uh, playing through the game, beginning your adventure. Hopefully they will help you out. Of course, if you do have any more that you want to share, by all means, let us know in the comments down below. And if you have been enjoying the Arceus content, don't forget to keep it locked. Let us know how you're getting on with the game. Let us know if you have any questions, if there's anything you would like to see more of. But in the meantime, if you want to check out some other videos, make sure you check out this one and you can find out how to get yourself a Pikachu, which you definitely want for your team.